Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Jim Grisanzio from the Oracle Groundbreakers team, and I'm here with a very special guest from Argentina, Gustavo Gonzalez. Gustavo is um, one of the speakers on the Oracle Groundbreakers India Yatra, which is wrapping up this week, and uh, we're here to have a you know conversation about the community. Gustavo, how you doing? What's going on? Hey Jim, nice to talk to you again. I'm doing nice. great. Yeah, nice to meet you. This is uh, this is actually the first time we're actually meeting, and this is great because um, I I you're from Latin America. I've never been there, and uh, I was hoping to go this year, but uh, actually we'll get to that later. But mm -hmm. um, um, you know, just you know, it's really really great to meet you. So since this is our first meeting, um, would you mind giving us a little bit of a an overview of just a couple minutes of who you are, what you do, and then we'll take it from there. Of course. Well, my name is Gustavo. I'm based out of Argentina. Um, I work for a company called IT Convergence. I'm a chief technology officer globally uh, for IT Convergence. I've been working for this company since 2006 uh, with all the transformation that has been happening in, you know, overall in technology, um, helping companies helping internally at IT conversions and also customers on the transformation uh, from the on-prem world to the cloud and, and the agility that the companies are needing today. Um, I've, been, I've been also part of the community. I've been also part of um, you know, the, the Oracle space for many years. I uh, started my career on the character mode uh, and, and programming and on Oracle forms uh, and, and reports and, and doing databases and data warehouses and coming all the way up to, to managing projects uh, that are transforming companies uh, from, you know, from, from solutions to, to new adventures and new things uh, that are helping their business to adapt to this new, new, new world that we're leaving. Cool, cool. All right, great. Um, how did you come across the India Yatra? Have you been to India before to present to these guys? Yes, yes. so I was actually, uh, um, uh, my first Yatra was about uh, five years ago. Oh, okay. uh, so I visited, I think it was like six, seven countries. Uh, it was two years after the first Yatra uh, and and I have very good friends over there in India. Uh, and the company that I work for also has a, an office in Hyderabad. Uh -huh. um, so I, I go to India uh, very frequently, and and you know visiting all these different cities across India uh, and and the community. The the impact that the All India Oracle User Group uh, has. Uh, across the Oracle community, and and, and it's, it's such an enormous, you know, uh, and, and a huge impact that, that makes me, and I was pretty happy to participate and, and and be part of that. It was the early stages of the Yatra, uh, mm -hmm. and you know, it was great, a great experience. And and this is too normal, you know, uh, being virtual, hundred percent virtual, and uh, it's. Is a new normal for this type of events. I've been participating since I'm an Oracle Ace director, and before that, participating in many events uh, worldwide. Uh, but this is something that you know we're getting used to—to to be you know presenting and participating in events. And Yatra is it's one of the, my favorites, uh, both the Yatra uh, and the you know the, the event that it's typically at the end of the year. Uh, Sangha. Sangam. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm actually glad you had a chance to go. So you have a feel, basically a sense of the people that you're actually presenting to. What's interesting about this year's Yatra is that there's a lot of speakers who have never presented to the Indian community before. And so that's a good thing in a sense of it gives the Indian community um, a lot more access to speakers that they wouldn't have ordinarily you know, seen before. So that's good. But it's just also interesting that the vast majority of the people that I've been interviewing, um, maybe they've been there once or never, you know, so they really all want right. to go back, actually, 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 actually uh, to go for the first time. 
um, because they've had such a good experience here virtually, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so. I, and it is, and, and it's different, right? So there is, a, you know, pros and cons. Uh, of course, you know, uh, from one side, you, you get more speakers. Uh, the other is the relationship, right? And yeah. the solidarity that you, you build, you know, across, you know, having a face to face or stretching hands, which is going to be difficult from now on. But, you know, it's, it's, it's something that, you know, I really like, like, you know, get, getting off the stage and talking and, and discussing and, and sharing experiences. And from a speaker perspective, we learn a lot from the audience and many times you know right. on what the things that they're doing and how they approach you know problems or, or challenges which is different than you know you will probably do it on the other side of the world so it's always right. great to hear experiences from others that that's actually really a good uh, point you just made about the speakers learning from the audience because many times when you go to a conference and you're listening to a speaker you have this feeling that it's one way, right? Knowledge is being transmitted from there to here, right? Um, but the really good speakers, the really ones who are very experienced and, and are a little bit more humble, um, they realize that it's actually a two-way street. For just that reason that you mentioned, you get off the stage, you have conversations, because you can't know everything. Um, and, and so that's really interesting point. Yeah. I've been, I've been to Yatra. I went to Yatra last year and Sangam last year, and I've been to any many, many times, you know, for the Oracle community and, um, it's, it, it's live wire. It really is. So oh, I was, yeah. Yeah. I was, um, interested to go visit you guys there. So, um, <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your presentation here. I have in my notes, it says, um, here comes a digital assistant to rescue us in a corporate world. So uh, tell me all about digital assistants. Yeah, so you know, Oracle has been investing a lot on, on digital assistants. And, and for those who haven't heard about it, it's probably the, the, the buzz word is chatbots. You know, you probably heard about chatbots. Yeah. And you're probably using that uh, when you visit like a, a retail store and a website. And and an Oracle did a, a has been in improving and 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 investing a lot on digital assistance uh, lately. And we see the results on on a on a, on a great product, uh, which is the Oracle Digital Assistant product. Uh, which allows you to connect to multiple channels. And one of the things that, that I've been working on uh, heavily at IT Conversions internally and with customers is connecting digital assistants to ERP, to software, to corporate software. Um, giving not just you know, this chatbot that you typically ask, ask for the weather or you know, check for the, the size of your T-shirt. It's more than that. It's how you can talk about purchasing, can talk about expense reports, can talk about absences, can talk about corporate data and, and act on that, um, taking action. Um, you know, we probably, you know, can uh, have many ways of interacting and, and all these different sort of, you know, um, efficiencies that we can gain by using a digital assistant, not just on a chat, it's also voice and asking for information that can tell you with, with artificial intelligence, because all the magic of, of digital assistance resides on how the artificial in intelligence is being used um, and how you know, this artificial intelligence can determine what are the actions that you might take, right? Uh, like what's the most important aspect or approvals that I have to do. So, you know, helping the users to make decisions in a corporate world. Um, and, you know, uh, Oracle uh, has embedded digital assistants into their cloud SaaS products, uh, which is great. And you can, you know, there's a, a way of doing that, a uh, great way of, of connecting with SaaS. But I'm also exploring because I'm, I'm proficient and I'm, I'm very, you know, I, I co-author a book on EVs and Suite, for example. And, and we have been working on how to get digital assistants connected to EVs and Suite and all, all different products that are, they have ears, you know, uh, and companies and customers are, you know, very happy using them. 
But then how could we can switch that into an advanced and innovative solution with digital assistance, you can do that. So my session is how to get to start using these innovations from Oracle, uh, these cloud innovations with your corporate data, with your corporate software. Um, it's, it's a great way to, to give your business uh, to get an improved ROI with the, the, the latest advances on, on technology. Interesting. So when I interact with digital assistants, so you have a situation where you have a human being interacting with software, either through voice or through typing. And then you're basically asking that piece of software, which ironically has a name, right? <laughs> that piece of software, some, um, you know, you know, some questions or you're inputting data and that, a piece of software has to go out and interact with all kinds of different computer systems and then return a decision to, you know, so some information you know, to you that you can act on. Mm -hmm. And then you go back and forth and back and forth and you iterate. So my question right. to you is the development process, how you develop software, um, the, the skills of, of, of writing these applications, is it, is it, is it just another app? or is it something that's actually somewhat it's a, different? It's a great question. And, and to answer that, um, you know, you, you have two aspects. First is, you know, for people like me, that we started coding me many years back, uh, there's a, a change in the mindset of how you build a solution with digital assistance, okay? Because it, it's, it's a different interface. You are right. not having a screen, not even an app. Right. So first of all, you need to switch that on on how you're going to be uh, interacting with with the users. The, the the second aspect of that is, uh, given the advances on the Oracle Digital Assistant, you can have a citizen developer, which means you know that's a you know garner um, uh, analogy to someone that it's a well versed user without having all deep uh, development you know uh, skills you can build your Oracle Digital Assistant uh, without any code, okay? Mm -hmm. Without having to code. Now, if you want to advance on that, then that's where you're gonna be interacting. And, and as you say, I'm gonna be interacting with other systems where, and, and the magic there comes with the APIs, okay? And that's the world of APIs and that's where you're going to need some skills, developing and programming skills uh, that will talk to these different systems and how you're going to be creating these connectors and connecting your digital assistant to pull information and to push information to these third party, these different systems that you want. Whether it's, you, you mentioned about weather, right? You need to build an API to pull the weather for a particular location. But, but the overall aspect of this is, you know, you can start very simple and, and, and as part of my session, you know, I wanted to have the users going back, giving their free trial and doing a Q&A, which is something very simple. It's a Q&A um, digital assistant that will allow you to answer questions, you know, answer uh, typical questions from users so you can easily, and, and a good example is with COVID-19, uh, would you have a set of questions, say, okay, what are the symptoms? And you can build for your organization a very simple digital assistant answering questions that are typical, uh, very important questions and answers to users and to your employees, for example. Uh, now, you don't need any development skills. Now, it's a different you know, mindset of how you program for this type of solutions. And, and that's something that, you know, you need to get started. Uh, in my session, I, I share some of the, the key elements, you know, you don't, you, you, key elements that are important, like utterances and, you know, entities, uh, channels. These are all new terminology that yeah, you will have to learn uh, to be proficient on, on, on building these digital assistants. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's very easy, very intuitive. There's a lot of documentation on of Oracle Digital Assistants on, on the Oracle Docs. And uh, so 
I, I wouldn't be scared of, of, of uh, you know, getting into the, the Oracle right. digital assistance you know, area. Mm -hmm. So behind the scenes, the technology that is sort of driving this is machine learning, right? Correct. And, and machine, machine learning, when we're talking about machine learning and artificial intelligence, is how you uh, analyze and, and, you know, it's a natural language processing, the NPL, um, and, and how you can have this interaction and understanding what the users are saying or typing uh, and, and understand that, transform that into with the uses of uh, ML and AI to what you really want to drive and the code that you are dri driving for that and getting the APIs to answer these questions. So there's a multiple components of uh, machine learning and, and artificial intelligence that are making the difference of this tool, okay? There are many tools uh, of digital assistance, but I think, you know, the Oracle Digital is one of the, the most advanced tools uh, for that matter. Really? Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So did you already give the talk or do you still have to give it in this last I, week? I, I delivered the talk okay. a, a week ago, yes. Okay. Yeah. And how did it go? It went very well. I have a very good, uh, you know, attendance. Um, it was uh, about 9 p.m. India time, and I was like thrilled to see almost 100 people joining oh, yeah. this session. Yeah. That's uh, nice. And and it's you know it's amazing, and the questions and the feedback that I got, uh, you know, very active, a very yeah. active audience. I I really enjoy, I always enjoy talking and and providing giving sessions in India, but but it was very you know, intense on, on, on the Q&A. And actually, we, we continue after the session uh, with, with emails and, and, and LinkedIn conversations with many other of the attendees. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. Okay, so you're also an Oracle ACE director in your spare time. And uh, I wanted to talk about that and because that is a program where you're interacting with the company and also interacting with the community as well. There's a, you know, four, 450 aces around the world, lots of events and things like that. So talk about that for a few minutes about the community and the program that you use to interact mm -hmm. with it. And you have a tour right. coming up soon as well. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, you know, the, the Oracle ACE program, uh, I joined the ACE program back in 2008 or so, so more than a decade ago. Um, and just, I, I've been sharing about and, and trying, you know, we, we have, I'm very proud to, to be a growing community in Latin America of ACES. Um, uh, very, uh, very proud of, of trying to get more people to share their knowledge, to, to, to be in this, you know, a small group of, of people that can talk about what we love. Um, and, and, and the passion of, of, you know, of these people and, and the people that, that, that share this uh, program, it's about technology. I, I, as I said, you know, it's not easy to speak, but it's for us, sometimes it's easier to write a blog or write an article or now we're giving this chance of, of doing videos, you know? Uh, and it's not like talking in a big audience, like a Yatra with 300 or 400 people that may, may feel you a little scared. Uh, now it's different. And, and this is making, you know, a, a huge, um, for, for people that, you know, we, we are all working on technology. We're working on our own and, and the companies. And, and for cameras and doing great stuff that nobody knows. And there's some other professional closer to you uh, that might be having challenges right. and might have not think of the way that you solve it, you, know, you apply a solution uh, in your company. That's the value of ACES talking about technology, talking about challenges that we solve. Um, uh, I, I love the user group because it, it's not a marketing event. It's not like, oh, this is a product that we built and we're selling to you. This is real cases, real solutions, and things that we apply to customers uh, to, in our own companies. And 
might you know bring you know bring a light uh, at the end of the channel for someone that is looking or having that same problem or challenge with a product or with a business case right um, this is this is a great community also giving us the chance to participate i've been working on many you know, beta testing uh, working closer with with the oracle product team and and having that chance of giving our little help uh, on the product uh, with this you know feedback and and providing hey i'm testing it this is something that i don't like and i'm being heard by the oracle product it's a great you know great accomplishment accomplishment from from this you know community it's like okay it's something that we you know we provide to the oracle products you know with our little you know a uh, 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 little help right so, to the community and and to Oracle pro customers as well, right? Um, so these are the components like sharing the knowledge, and also helping the product to involve, you know, get get more and more features and, and benefits to the to the end users. So it sounds like you you certainly do a lot of community work, and you certainly love it because I can see you lighten up. You know, with that big smile when you talk about it, um, you were, you know, you know, there locally actually created user groups and ran user groups for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So I I, I started working and we, with a few friends. We were four four of us that we founded the the Oracle user group uh, in Argentina, uh, and also helping the applications user group across latin america and um, uh, you know with with the, you know we started with very small like we were four or five uh, and we you know we grow this to to events like 500 people uh, which is huge for Argentina. Um, you know in events uh, also uh, i had the, the privilege to be leading the latin america oracle user community uh, which is the umbrella to all the Oracle user groups across Latin America, uh, mm. all the way from Mexico, all the way down to Chile and Argentina. Uh, I, I'm uh, the former president. Uh, I've been leading that for four years, the past four years. Um, and, you know, it's it's not easy. It's different cultures, different countries, uh, you know, these different objectives, e each of these countries, but with the same spirit of helping the community, helping and the users of Oracle technology to do better, you know, on their own careers and, and the companies that they work for and the, com the customers that they serve. Um, this has been great and has been giving us the chance to, for example, um, drive the Latin America uh, tour, which has been changing the names lately, uh, but it's a great, it's a great tour. Um, the How first many countries? Time that I, yeah. Well, the the latest. So I started with about eight countries, and the the latest, uh, which was uh, 2019, we had 13 countries wow. across Latin. That's a lot. A lot of work, right? A lot See, of that's, work. <laughs> that's why I was looking. I was looking forward to this year. So, it's it, and and uh, you know you you get the sense of the, these different countries. Right. You know, you have all the way south, Uruguay, Argentina, and Chile. And as you go up, you have Brazil from one side, and then you have Ecuador, Peru on the other on the other coast. Uh, and then you go up and you have Colombia, uh, you have, you know, um, Guatemala, Mexico. There's just so many different things that you can, ex you know, experience. Um, we have Panama uh, and the chance to, to, to see the Panama Canal, which is one of our Oracle customers. And we had really? the chance to oh. go and visit uh, IT, the IT, talking to the IT team of the Panama Canal. Wow. You know, we had this both sense of, you know, that has changed the, the world in a sense, and the use of Oracle technology, you know, driving that that changing, you know, changing the world. So, it's a great experience. This year, uh, led by by Rolando Carrasco, a good friend from Mexico. It's a 
in, in the new normal, uh, we're, we're, you know, we're going to be doing the, the, uh, the tour, a virtual tour, just like Yatra. Uh, we, you know, a lot of great sessions. Anyway, again, just like Yatra, many, many speakers. Yeah. And this is giving us the chance in Yatra to, to see way more speakers than, than usual because we have limited budget and, and, and the constraints of, you know, having people visiting you know, six countries in, in, in 10 days, like, you know, <laughs> sleeping on planes and things that are nature. This is giving us a chance to, to expand the speakers, uh, but also, you know, being, um, you know, uh, uh, being more wide in terms of, of term, you know, technology, you know, uh, uh, and products and, and experiences. So, we're very excited, uh, waiting to to have this uh, new tour uh, in the app in a few weeks. Uh, yeah, cool. So let's. Um, how about we say this is a temporary abnormal, okay? Instead of the new normal. <laughs> I, I like and that. Then, I like and that. Then, yeah. <laughs> and then and then next year, um, if um if I'm a good boy, I'll get to go to on the on the on the, on the uh, tour. Um, all right, cool. Gustav, thank you very much. It's been a real pleasure meeting you for the first time and talking with you here about, you know, digital assistance and uh, the community. And uh, I mean, your passion is palpable. And um, hopefully um, next year, the year after, you know, we'll get to actually meet in person. So thanks a lot. We'll talk thank to you Thank you very soon. much. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye now.